So, and how are you enjoying the campaign so far? Great. It's um, we're trying to get the message out here that Fine Gael are really enthusiastic about this. As you know, since the 1970s, Fine Gael have supported every single one of the uh, European treaties, and we do so on this occasion with with great enthusiasm because this one is really critical for the future of our country. And I'm trying to say to people very clearly: Look, I know you have good cause to be upset about the government. Hold that anger until there is uh, a general election and a referendum on the government. And in this case. Uh, stand by your country and vote yes for Ireland. And you're doing 60 stops on your on your bus tour. What Indeed, kind of places yeah, are you going to? We've mandated all our deputies and senators and uh, councillors all over the country uh, to get out and canvas, um, be seen canvassing and go door to door with people. After all, we have over 600 representatives now, which is a, which is a great base. We've taken control of many county councils, and from that point of view, you know we support the government's uh, decision here to have the referendum and, and and to vote yes. So I hope that over the next three weeks now. Uh, we'll get that message out to our people and that when the when the electorate comes to decide that that they answer the question for themselves do i want to continue to be central to the european business um and and and, that, and why i should vote yes do you think people are more positive about it this year do you feel a change yeah. in opinion i do in this sense uh, that i think the legal guarantees have cleared up for people uh, a lot of questions that they had the last time in fact i've described this as the last occasion was like looking through a window with condensation on it. You couldn't see the issues clearly because there, there was great confusion. Now the legal guarantees have addressed those questions about abortion and taxation and conscription and of course the fact that we keep a commissioner if we vote yes. Uh, so from that point of view, uh, people's questions about Lisbon have been answered very fully and very completely. So by voting yes, they keep a commissioner. By voting yes, their sons or daughters are not going to be conscripted. By voting yes, does not introduce abortion by the back door into Ireland. By voting yes, we retain our competence on taxation, for instance. So all of these matters have been cleared up. And that's why people do look at it differently now. So what are the next stops? What's the plan for this weekend? Well, I'm heading off to, um, to Mullingar and Longford today and down the west. Uh, tomorrow I'm in Galway all day, finish up in Tume in the evening. Sunday uh, I'm back in Galway on a different matter. Monday we're in Dublin and around Dublin. Uh, Tuesday is the same here. Then you have the Dáil Wednesday and Thursday. And for the next uh, 17 days now I'll be all over the country tying in with the programmes um, and the canvassing plans of our TDs and centres in the different constituencies. So for instance, if you're coming from Limerick, you know, you might drop into Thurles, you might come up to Nina, up to uh, Athlone, off up to Navan or whatever. Cover as much as we can in the next 17 days.